Anna, also known as Amphaventing here. I'm really excited to announce my new partnership with Lickit. Lickit is a super popular horse treat company. Their treats are very awesome. They, are, they come in big bars where you can break them off into smaller pieces. They also specialize in horse boredom treats and toys. Uh, a lot of people use these in their stalls. But I also use them in the trailer because, especially on long hauls, my horses like to get into things they shouldn't and chew on things that they shouldn't. And it makes a huge difference and all of my horses love them. So Lickit sent me these two massive boxes. So let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. Okay, first let's pull out the tongue twister. This is a super, super cool toy for the horses. You just screw it onto the wall and the ball on the inside will spin and you put a lick it right here um, in this circle and they can play with it and it keeps them occupied for a very long time. Let me just go ahead and open it up and show you guys what it looks like. This will be incredibly awesome for the stallion Barbie, or no, also known as Barbarossa, because he loves to play with things on the wall. So there's two spots for lickets. And you can see it just spins, and then you would hang through that part into the wall. It comes with screws, too. Okay, so the next one is called the Boredom Breaker. So you have the classic Lick It holder right here, and then you have a ball on the bottom of it, and it hangs from a string at the top. So this is going to be even harder for your horses, uh, for horses that get extremely bored in the stall because it's a little bit more difficult for them to play with it. So this will be really good for my three-year-old who just gets into anything and everything and gets bored extremely easily. So what you do is you would put lickets right here and right here, and then you would put this down over that peg, then you put a licket there, and then you put this peg here, you loop it over something and clip like that, and it hangs. So see it swings around and stuff like that. So that's going to be amazing for my three-year-old. Okay, and then this one is called a snackable. So this would be something that you could put in the pasture or in the stall. I would recommend probably the pasture though since the treats fall out of it and you don't want them to eat shavings. But you can kind of see here on the lid the horse grazing in the pasture and the treats fall out of that little hole. So you take this little <laughs> got it. <laughs> Alright, so you take this little tab thing off and you stick the treats into this hole and while the horses and then you put this back on. And then you put that back on, and then while the horses roll the ball around, the treats will fall out of this little hole, and you'll be able to eat them. So that's a very, very good toy for the pasture for my three-year-old. Again, she gets very bored, very playful, and destructive. So this will be very, very good for her. It also comes with an extra tab should the one on here get lost. It feels kind of like a bowling ball. So then we have a the classic Lickit stall holder. This uh, is the one of the easier toys for the horses. Um, you just it comes with the rope like on this one, boredom breaker, and your two uh, rings and your stick. So you put a ring on your stick. You put your Lickit in a ring on top of the licket, and then the snap there, and string it up and hold it. This is one of 
one of the new colors of um, Look at Toys, and it's really pretty. It's uh, turquoisey blue, and I think it's really, really gorgeous. Goes really well with my stall colors and my infamenting colors. And like I said, the bubble wrap is perfect for the felines. And Schofield here is already enjoying it, and it hasn't even been 10 minutes. So. Like it's R for everyone. Okay, so now we have some handy dandy little look at refills. These are what you would put with your toys. So your boredom breaker and your traditional look at holder. This is what you would put on them. Um, you can put it between the two plates. And uh, this is the new look at granola multi-grain. And it looks very yummy. I might even have to taste test some of these. So these are the multi-grains. So you don't just have the sugar liquid, but you have multiple different options. You have multi-grains and you also have the Himalayan salt lick, which I know that my stallion is going to die for. He loves uh, any he loves any kind of salt. <laughs> Salt liquids. Uh, he loves Himalayan salt. He loves mineral salt. He loves regular salt. He just loves salt. So these are the multi-grain granola ones. And another one. And then this is what the Himalayan uh, salt looks like. And it's got the hole right here in the middle. So it's really easy to hang it with your traditional wicket or on your boredom breaker so there's all of that and that except for so we have some of these really cute pamphlets to if you see me at shows and you would like to have one just come right up to me go to my stall somebody's normally there grab one um or come up to me and request one and i'll give one to you so that is all for box number one so let's move on to box number two. Again, another thing for the felines of the household and the barn. We all know cats love boxes. So we'll see how long it takes Schofield to go jump in that box. So now, box number two. We have a receipt. We have some tabs that don't want to work with me. We have some packing paper. Oh my goodness. We have a lot of liquids here. Okay, so this is the liquid treat bar form. I was, this is what I was talking to you about that you can break off into small bite-sized pieces. So let me just open this up for you real fast. Oh my. So they come in four different flavors for you to test. These are really, really good for you to, to be able to test which flavor your horse likes the most. So there is the flavors. So this is your mint. It looks white. Actually, it looks really creamy and yummy, like vanilla almost. And then this is your apple. And then your carrot and your banana okay y'all i literally just opened this within like 15 seconds i can smell mint and it smells amazing my horse's breath is never going to stink ever again so where you would break them is along these lines and they're like really small bite-sized pieces so here's like my finger in comparison so it will be really easy for your horses to chew. They won't choke on it. Um, they're really easy to break off too. I'm just not going to break it and make a mess in the kitchen. Because I already have made a mess. So, look at, they're all the same. So they all have the same flavors. And they're all just four pack of the treat bars. Okay, so now we have 
this is an assorted Wicket. Little Wicket Equine Boredom Relief. Oh, okay. So these are also like your granola, uh, multigrain, and your Himalayan salt. These are fills that you would put in like the ball. They come in tons of different flavors as you can see here. Um, these are, they taste incredible. Like my horses love these, especially Jack's. He will, he loves them. And my older quarter horse lady, she will go through one of these in a day. A, a day, I'm serious. So you just open that and then you take the lid off. Circle. So the little ones are the ones here, let me show you what it would say. The little, so it says little on top of the licket. That's what it will say if it goes in the balls. So like in your tongue twister ball, that's what you put in there. Now if it's the regular size, so like your granola ones, that's what goes between your plates. Um, because they have the little hole in them for the sticks to go through. So we have apple here, and we have mint, and we have molasses, and carrot flavors. some more granola multi-grain like it refills whoopsies oh there we go so you pop the lid off of these two just like the others and then pop it out but you can see that hole that I'm talking about that's where your stick goes through so I'm gonna go take some of these out to the barn and put them up in the horses stalls and we can see how they like them so let's go Okay, so the first Licket toy we're gonna hang is gonna be the Boredom Breaker. We're gonna go hang this in Lily's stall. She's my three-year-old warm blood and she gets bored really easily. And this is one of the more difficult toys if you hang it where it can't go against a wall. And so I think it's gonna be perfect for her and I think she's gonna love it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a granola Licket and put it on the stick and then you put a, a mini or a little Licket, it, one on each side of your ball. And so here is my little Lickets. And uh, there's a lot of different flavors and you can do different flavors for each side. So we're gonna do the apple flavor for one side and the carrot flavor for the other side. So let's go put this together and get it hung in our stall. Okay, so let me show you how you put these in to our holes. So you literally take your paper off, and if you forget how to do this, what I tell you to do, it's on your paper right here, so you can get a little refresher. Okay, so you take your paper off and you throw it away in our trash can. Then you take your lid off and throw that away also. Then you take, you see these little knobs here. You line those up to your four little holes. And you push down until you feel it click. Like that. Now your ball is ready to be hung. So now we need to put our granola on. So I took, <clears throat> so you take, you take the paper off your granola, take the lid off, and pull it completely out of its plastic. 
leave this cardboard circle in, take one of your plates, take your stick, slide it on. I continue to hold it from the base because I feel like I have more control of it at the base. Take your other plate, slide it on, take your snap, and snap. Now it is ready to be hung. Let's go hang it. Super mom hanging my rope for me because ladders plus me is, does not equal a good combination. Okay, so our super mom has hung our rope here for us. We hung it from the rafters so that it wasn't hanging directly against the bars because we wanted to make it a little bit more challenging for Lily. So this has become the perfect one for us. We hung it with some rope because it needed to be a little bit longer. You can use whatever you find around your barn, bailing twine, jute, chains, whatever you um, have available you can use. So then you take your rope and you do it through the handle and then let it hang down to the bottom with your snap. Then you hang the snap at the bottom so you can just snap your wicket toy in like so. So let's go and put together our other toys and get those hung. Okay, so now we are going to hang our Lickit holder. This was one of the original toys of Lickit. So we are just going to pull this out. We have our rope. We have our plates. And we have our stick. So what you do for this one is you take your stick, you put one plate through, then you pick which um, toy or, or which flavor flick it you want to give them, or you can even give them the Himalayan salt lick. Uh, I'm going to give Dax a granola because he, <clears throat> it, he gets salt in his feed and Barbie will get that. Uh, the Himalayan salt lick. So what I'm going to do now that I've chosen which flavor I'm going to use is I'm going to open it up. What you do, what you do is you pull off the cardboard, throw it in the trash, pull off our lid, throw it in the trash, and just pop. I use both thumbs and push from the bottom to pop out throw that in the trash. Then I take my scissors and hold my thing over the trash because the hole on the bottom has gotten a little bit clogged up. So I'm just going to hold my treat over the trash, take my scissors and tap it out. You could do this over a bucket and like give them the treat, but my horses are outside right now, so then you slide your treat through your stick, grab your other plate, and now we are ready to go hang it. Okay, so I'm just going to hang this toy from the top of my bars and let it hang against my bars. So I take the loop, the end that has a loop on it, and I'm going to toss it over my bars. Grab it, put the snap through the loop. This is a little bit difficult one-handed. Pull the loop all the way to the top, and then snap my licket on. I don't like to hang my lickets really tall because or my hay bags for that matter. If you look over, you can see how I hang hay bags. Because horses naturally reach their necks down to eat grass or hay as natural wild animals. So their bodies are built to be eating from the bottom. So when their head is up really high, it puts a lot of stress on the shoulders. So I like to let my 
treats and toys and hang, hang a little bit lower. Okay, so now we're gonna hang our, or mount our tongue twister. This is gonna go in the stallion Bar Barbarossa stall. He gets bored really easily and he needs something to do. So, it also comes with um, some handy dandy little screws that you're gonna mount it with and some mollies in case if you need them as well. So, this Lick It toy requires your mini little lickets and you get one on each side so we're going to give him the mint and the molasses flavor so um you can watch as i put this in you put this in the, the exact same way that you put it in the boredom breaker but i'll go ahead and show you again So you take your paper off, which also still has your steps in case if you need them. Put that in the trash, take your lid off, throw that in the trash, match your four little tabs with your four little indentions here. Push it in until you feel it. Now we're going to use our mint one. All right, now it is ready to be installed. I think he likes it. Do you like it, Barbie? He said, yeah, you can you that? hand it to me, though? You, you want it the other one? You want to try that one? Not the fingers. No. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. Here you go. Is that yummy? Do you like the other one? Look at the other one. Glasses. No, man. No, try that one. Mm. I like the molasses. I like the other one better. Here you go. Want the molasses? <laughs> <laughs> we know which one's Barbie's favorite. Well, I would say that that is a hit for Barbie. Look, Jackson. No, go that way. Hard guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it plastic yummy? <laughs> Go over there. I can't help you. She tried it. Now we will wait and see what they look like tomorrow because I have a feeling that they will be quite gone. And Barbie is still licking his. Oh, it's on mint now. Okay, so we just finished the morning chores and put the horses outside for the day. So I just wanted to show y'all what Barbie did last night. Um, he licked 
both of his flavors completely gone. So I think it's safe to say that he loves his Lickets and loves his new toy. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if it was helpful or anything that you would like to say. And hit that subscribe button to see the next video. And remember to always stay wonderful.